guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade any 32-bit device from iOS 9 or 10 down to iOS 8.4.1. I do recommend backing up your data in case you wind up losing it. There is a high um, chance that this will not work at all, and you'll just have to restore back to either iOS 9 or iOS 10, whichever version you're on. This process is taken completely on your device. You have no use of a computer in this except for backing up your device. So let's go ahead get and get started. So you need to be jailbroken, and I will have links in the description on how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.3 and iOS 9.3.5. So you need to have a file manager such as iFile or Files of File Manager, and I downloaded Files of because in my experience, file iFile has not worked for me, so I downloaded Files of File Manager. So what you need to do is go to Files of or iFile, whichever one you chose or whichever one worked for you, and go ahead and click this back arrow at the top all the way until you see a little slash mark. Then you want to go to System, Library, Scroll all the way down until you see Core Services. And go ahead and click there. And then scroll down until you see System Version dot P list here. Click this little I icon, at least on Filesa, and then you'll be able to edit it. So what we're going to do first is change the product build number to 10A403 with a capital A here. 10A403, just like that. Now click back, now click product copyright, and you're going to change this to 2012. And you're going to go back and you're going to change the product version to iOS 6.0. Just type 6.0. Okay, now go back and recheck everything, do it exactly as I said. And now you want to click back and save. Make sure you save this or it will not work, then click done. Now um, you should be able to restart your iPhone just like this. Go ahead and restart your iPhone and I'll be back to you as soon as it's done. Okay, so once your phone has booted up, you're going to get this little thing that says slide to upgrade. Just go ahead and slide and type in your passcode and it's going to do the little line just like it normally would when you upgrade. It may do it really fast, it may do it really slow, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll be back to you when it's done. Once that bar has finished sliding, it should look just like you had it before on iOS 9 or iOS 10. Now, once your Wi-Fi reconnects or your service, go ahead and jump into settings. And like I said, this doesn't have exactly a high chance of working. Now go to General and Software Update. And this may take a while, it has before for me, but you should eventually get a software update for iOS 8.4.1. Okay, so literally about a minute and a half later, this finally popped up. Now you want to just go ahead and click download and install, and you will be downgrading to iOS 8.4.1. Go ahead and accept the terms and conditions, and it's going to go ahead and update or downgrade, I guess, in this case, but it thinks your iPhone is on 6.0, and 6.0 cannot directly upgrade to iOS 9 or 10. It can only go to iOS 8. So I'll be back to you as soon as this is finished downloading and show you what to do next. Okay, so my phone just started verifying the update, so we should be updating here shortly. So I'll get back to you as soon as it's uh, reinstalled. Okay, so as you can see, my iPhone has finished updating now to slide to upgrade, and again, type in your password, and it may do the same thing again, although it shouldn't take 15 minutes this time like it just did the last time. Okay, so that finished really quickly, so just go ahead and type in your password and slide to set up, click continue, choose your Wi-Fi network, and go ahead and join your Wi-Fi network, and wait for it to activate. It should activate with no problem and then you will be into the home screen of iOS 8 which should be a little faster but it's gonna be a little glitchy until you reset your phone so what you have to do is go into settings and like I said this will delete everything on your phone. Settings, general, and scroll all the way down until you see this button reset. Click reset. Click re You're going to click erase all content and settings. It will erase everything on your phone. That is why you should back it up before uh, you do this if you want to keep your data. So click Erase Phone. And now it is erasing your iPhone. 
Okay, and as you can see, my phone has finished resetting, so now you're just going to go through the normal setup process as usual, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done. So now you are officially on iOS 8.4.1. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any issues, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to help you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're feeling like being awesome, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.